Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 30th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. We're now working on the GUI and um, in this video what we're going to do is we are going to lay out the, um, vi the, the visual components that correspond to the actual chessboard and the tiles. Um, so we're using sort of a loose model view controller uh, where we decouple the actual engine of the game from the way that we visualize it. So that's the setup that I want to provide before we dive in. So let's go ahead and jump right in here and forgot that I could declare this final. And I'm sure there's a couple places in the code where I have <clears throat> some minor improvements to make. We'll come back and do that in a subsequent video. I did notice that I could do a very small refactoring, and I like to—I really like to do these small refactorings incrementally. Um, so here I declared a new J menu bar, and then I called populate. So what if instead I said final J menu bar table menu bar is equal to, um, and what we did was in populate we actually said final j menu bar final j menu bar table menu bar is equal to new j menu bar let's do that here and then say return table menu bar and obviously this now has to return a j menu bar and what we can just say is table menu bar, final table menu bar is equal to populate, and then we don't have to pass in this parameter. And which is a little bit cleaner, I think. And now we can get rid of this. Well, let's leave this line here. For now, and see if we need it. If we, there's anything else we need to do to the to the handle for the local table menu bar in this constructor, we'll leave that there for now. Um, and just for consistency, why don't we refactor and rename this to create table menu bar? And uh, yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better there. <clears throat> so that was just a minor refactoring that we did. Um, now what I want to do is I want to introduce two inner classes here. Um, they're going to be private class board panel and it's going to extend a J panel. And um, we'll also have private class tile panel extends J panel as well. Okay, and so these are going to be the visual com components that represent the board and the tile respectively. So let's start with the board. What we're going to say for the board is we're going to have final list of tile panels, board tiles, Board panel will have board panel. Have the default constructor. We'll say super, and we'll use a grid layout, new grid layout, and we'll give it an eight by eight, which maps to a chessboard. And we'll say this dot board tiles is equal to new array list. Um, right. Uh, what is that complaining about? AWT. I must have. Where did I? New final list of. 
tile uh, tile panel. Huh. That's interesting. I don't want to explicitly import this. There we go. Okay, so let's have a for loop that says for int i equals zero i less than board utils dot num tiles and we'll say i plus plus then we will say final tile panel tile panel is equal to new tile panel and this is going to obviously take some parameters here it hasn't doesn't take any parameters yet we'll say this dot board tiles dot add tile panel and it's going to do it using this 8x8 eight eight layout. So it's going to lay it out like a chessboard for us. And then we will say add tile panel. <clears throat> so we're keeping track of the board each tile in this list of board tiles and we're also adding it to this J panel here. So that's what this for loop does. And then afterwards, we're just going to say set preferred size. And we're going to say board panel dimension. And we're going to, we're going to obviously add that constant. And we'll say validate and I think we're gonna need to do a set color here too um, but for now let's go ahead and introduce that <clears throat> let that constant um, so what we'll say is that the private final static dimension board panel dimension is equal to new dimension and for this one, we'll give it 400 by 350. You can play with these numbers if you want, um, or just sort of use the defaults that I'm using for now. Um, uh, you'll see once sort of we, we <clears throat> bring it up what it's going to look like. All right, so now we have the board panel. And I haven't really explained too much, but you can see here that we're, we have this class that uh, is a board panel. It's got this 8x8 layout. And all it does is it adds 64 tiles um, to this list. And each of those tiles also is added to this board panel. And notice that board panel extends from J panel, and so does tile panel. So now within, <clears throat> now what we'll want to do is we're going to want to look to see what the tile panel looks like. And what we'll do is we'll just outline this. For now, we'll say that a tile panel maps to a tile in our game. So we'll say private final int tile ID, the tile coordinate, right, from 0 to 63. And we'll say tile panel. And this is going to take some parms, but for now, let's, well, let's at least take the, we'll take in the board panel, final board panel board panel. So the tile is going to have a handle to its board panel and it's going to also final int tile ID. Okay, So that's obviously going <clears> to <throat> cause problems where we instantiated this and we'll have to go back and fix it but for now we'll say super and we're going to give the each tile we're going to use the grid bag layout for each tile, new grid bag layout. And that's just going to be for some of the decorations uh, that are available on the grid bag layout that w for, you know, so, sort of for etching and that kind of thing. You, you, you can play around with it and learn what the grid bag layout will let you do. Um, but we'll say this dot tile ID is equal to tile ID. And set preferred size and we'll give this tile panel dimension. We'll come back and define this in a second. 
and we're going to need a couple of methods here that are not going to be defined yet. We'll say assign tile color and assign well for now let's just do assign tile color. I think that's what we will want to um, we'll do right away. And then at the end of all of that we'll do validate. Okay? Um, right. So let's go and define this tile panel dimension really quickly. Um, tile panel dimension we'll say is private final static dimension tile panel dimension is equal to new dimension and we'll say 10 by 10 right for now um, right so we've got the game frame in the constructor we've added so what we want to do is we want to have a member field <clears throat> that represents the board panel right so we're going to say private final board panel board panel and inside of the constructor we're going to need to um, create the board panel so we'll say um, here we'll say this dot board panel is equal to new board panel and after we've created the board panel we're gonna say this dot game frame dot add this dot board panel and we're gonna say border layout dot center and I haven't <clears throat> I have not yet set the um, layout for the game frame so we should do that as well so we'll say this dot set layout this dot game frame dot set layout and we will say new border layout and border layout dot center so we're gonna add the game frame to the center right and I think we're gonna have a couple compilers because I made some changes here so this method doesn't exist yet let's just do create and in here where I create each individual tile panel I need to pass it the board panel which is going to be the this pointer and the tile ID which is going to be the index of the uh, value of i in the for loop. Okay, so it's a lot that we went through. I'm not sure if, let's see what happens when we actually try to launch this. Um, there's definitely a lot more work that we'll need to do, but I wanted to sort of do this in a way that makes sense, right? So just to quickly recap, we have a board panel that maps to the chessboard, but it's the visual component for that, and we have a tile panel that maps to a tile in the chess game, right, the tile class, but it's the visual component for the tile, right, and we're going to be creating a board that's 8x8 eight eight visually and um, placing on each of those, uh, each of those, uh, in those places, we're going to place a tile in each of, in each of those 8x8s. Eight <clears throat> So let's see what happens when we play this out. Okay, so everything is invisible right now. We haven't really, we haven't really set anything. So um, that's fine. Looks like my IDE is kind of updating indexes. Really inconvenient time, but that's fine. Um, so what do I want to do next? I think, you know what, I think I'm going to end this video here 
and in the next video we will um, finish this and we'll sort of what we'll show are the alternating colors for each of the tiles on the chessboard. Okay, thank you.